Masks are so unique and interesting that I had to make a part two mask ideas video. Today, I'm gonna to show you eight more incredible mask ideas to spice up your level design. Let's get started. Luigi wants the grace and agility of a cat while having the ability to fly like a helicopter. He decides to see if he can have both. In this course, Luigi will combine the cat suit power-up with the abilities of the new mask. When he has both the cat suit and the propeller mask, he can fly upward and cling onto semi-solids. When Luigi grabs on, it instantly resets his propeller charges. It can give him time to plan his next jump and works really well for don't touch the ground levels. In the next area, Luigi must conquer this vertical auto scroll section with the cannon mask. Enemies will try to damage him and steal his powers, but he can climb the semi-solids in all directions to dodge. As he climbs, he'll have to shoot left and right to neutralize the threats. He can't fire while climbing because he's facing forward, so in order to attack, Luigi will have to jump off of the fence and point left or right to fire in that direction. He will even have to activate on-off switches to proceed using this method. Luigi wants to test his bullet bill mask in a thwomp infested course. In this course, overhead thwomps will activate on-off switches that will be the key to making progress. Luigi will have to follow these indicators and time his wall jumps just right to open the pathway and fly through. He can also use the rocket ability to make wall jumps like these that are further apart. If he's careful not to lose the mask, he can get up to this on-off switch to clear this obstacle. In the next area, Luigi will have even more challenge with the thwomps. He now will also need to fly into trampolines to get knocked back before flying through. When he does this, the thwomps will trigger the switch and be destroyed while changing the two state blocks. If he misses the trampolines, he could lose the mask and fall into the abyss. Luckily, Luigi is a skilled pilot and he easily opens the pathway to clear this course. Which mask is the most fun to use? Let us know in the comments below. Porky Puffer seems so angry all the time and Luigi wants to know if they act that way while no one else is looking. In this course, he will become Goombuigi to sneak around and observe these spiky fish. While he waddles through the water, Luigi notices that the Porky Puffers act very similarly to Red Cheep Cheeps. The only difference is when Luigi takes damage, all the Porky Puffers swarm him and try to swallow him whole. He will need to move swiftly and precisely to keep his disguise. Tough timing challenges are created with blinking blocks where he needs to dodge Porky Puffers and push ahead at the exact right moment. Luigi will also need to move carefully to trigger an on-off switch to make it through tight passageways. If he can make it to the end, he can use a giant Koopa shell to blast through the wall of Porky Puffers and finish his research. Luigi enters a shooting range to improve his reaction skills with the cannon mask. In this course, he'll have to determine which target is different from the rest and fire at that target. At the beginning of the course, the challenges can be easy like picking between a red and green Koopa, but can get more difficult as Luigi progresses. If Luigi chooses correctly, he can move forward to the next challenge, but if he's incorrect, the floor will disappear from under him. To make this work, on-off switches and blocks with keys are hidden out of the view. When Luigi makes a choice, he activates whatever's off screen in that area and either moves on or starts over. In a boss challenge, Luigi will need to face off against Pom Pom. Because he rides on flying dry bones, Pom Pom can only spawn in four different areas on the screen. He'll need to decide which one is real and blast through the defenses protecting her. If Luigi gets hit by a projectile, he will lose the cannon and have to start over. Once Luigi can hit the real pom-pom three times, he achieves victory and can leave this training. Be sure to give the creators of these courses some love by checking out the level codes in the description below. Thwomps are always smashing poor Luigi, and now he wants revenge. He grabs his trusty pal mask and prepares to out-thwomp the Thwomps. In this level, Luigi will have to solve puzzles to destroy thwomps to move forward. 
With the PAL mask, Luigi can trigger it close to a thwomp to make it explode. He will have to figure out when to destroy the thwomp or when he needs them to break the scroll stopping to move forward. Some puzzles bend the mind and require steps in the correct order. Luigi will have to wait for blinking blocks to be solid to activate his PAL mask close enough to some thwomps. In the final section, Luigi will have to ride thwomps and strategically destroy them. If he does it at the right time, he can catch a ride on a thwomp below, but if he misses, he will fall into the void. When he completes this section, he can destroy the last thwomp to get a sweet, sweet gold reward. Luigi wants to continue to test himself with the new headgear. In this course, he will prove he can use each mask by itself and then that he can switch between them effortlessly. To start off, he grabs the propeller mask and enters a room. He has no choice but to fly upward towards deadly spikes, but to his pleasant surprise, that makes a hidden block pathway. Because cannonballs explode at the end of their duration, he needs to shoot a short blast and a charge blast to drop these bullet blasters down. Now, he has to combine the masks. In this room, he needs to propel his way up high and fall into a cannon mask. Once he has it, he has less than a second to fire at the exclamation mark block to continue. Next, he'll need to hit a winged block with a PAL mask to grab a Goomba mask while falling to get access to the door. In the last room, he will need to make a chain reaction with his PAL mask to destroy a thwomp blocking the pipes. Once he does, he can use the cannon mask to shoot a cannonball to hit an evasive piranha plant to get a key. If you're enjoying this video, be sure to shoot a cannonball at that like button. After completing the last course, Luigi wants to experiment with the cannon mask and timing challenges. In this course, he'll have to use on-off switches to navigate through each area. The challenges are a combination of platforming and puzzle to make it through. The tough part about this course are the on-off mechanisms that are activated by shooting multiple cannonballs before moving. This works because the clear pipes slow down the cannonballs enough while increasing their duration to give Luigi a chance to run. Luigi must time his wall jumps perfectly to not take damage and reach the top. In the final challenge, Luigi will need to shoot five cannonballs into the pipe before running. If he makes a mistake or is too slow, he can ground pound the on-off switch to try again. Once he makes it to the top, brick blocks need to be blasted to make sure Luigi didn't cheat his way through this challenge. The secret organization Operation Delicious Gold has tasked Luigi with his most delicious mission yet, codenamed Golden 50. In this course, he'll have to enter Koopa Tower using stealth or cannons blazing. Luigi's given a choice between the Goomba mask to sneak through or the cannon mask to fight. Either option gives him the same route, but the gameplay will be different depending on what he chooses. If Luigi chooses the Goomba mask, he can sneak through until he takes damage. Thwomps will detect him and trigger an on-off switch that gives him a cannon but alerts all enemies to his presence. If he can manage to navigate the tower to the top, he can feast on the delicious 50 coins. For eight more incredible mask ideas, click on the video on the screen right now. For more Mario Maker 2 inspiration, be sure to subscribe and hit that bell. I'm Aristotle, and thanks for watching.